Hi friends, welcome to this lecture on Chat GPT, introduction to Chat GPT. So in this lecture, we are going to see what is Chat GPT and what are its limitations, how to use Chat GPT, and I will also uh, discuss some applications of Chat GPT. So Chat GPT is uh, uh, generative pre-trained transformer uh, based uh, chat application it is available online and it can also be customized to a particular uh, application for specific needs this is uh, using a artificial intelligence mechanism to generate response by understanding the natural language query so it enables conversation with the user in real time and uh, when you pass a query to the chat gpt engine it searches for information by uh, analyzing indexed web pages on the internet there are two types of uh, uh, ch chat gpt one is free version another one is paid version premium version the free version does not use internet when you uh, request when you request for information whereas the premium version is capable of generating faster response as well as uh, it can also add new features and new information and uh, uh, how, how to use this chat GPT? Uh, first, you should go to this website https colon openai.com. There is a sign up option, click on it, and you will be asked to enter your information. You need valid phone number, it should be validated um, by entering the code. So, once your information is validated, you will be your account will be created successfully. And then you can use your login information to uh, log into the OpenAI portal. So there you have access to ChatGPT. There are some limitations. It is not like a human, so it cannot uh, respond to the query uh, with a complete information like a human being who is having expert knowledge or domain knowledge in a particular field. So it may always uh, give. Uh, some basic level information to your query but it cannot generate information as you want uh, as expected it gets information it does not get information exactly right always so it relies on the training data it is a pre trained uh, model transform model so it uses pre trained data to generate responses it cannot add new information if you are using a free version you cannot add uh, new information you cannot update information in real time and uh, you should uh, know how to use chat gpt so in order to use this effectively you can specify the word count so always try to uh, specify higher level uh, higher count so that you will get um, more amount of information and uh, you should understand the limitations of chat gpt if you are using free version so it is uh, limited to specific uh, content only so it will not generate more information accessing the net uh, whereas if you go for premium version you have uh, more features advanced features so don't rely on the chat gpt for complete information it is uh, not generating information like a human it is not giving response like a human in real time uh, and uh, for complex uh, applications uh, sometimes you can use this as a starting point for generating uh, initial content you can make a request uh, the request must be clear and uh, crisp and clear and should not use complex query and all you can use proper keywords to guide the search engine um, to guide the chat gpt for generating the response if you are using uh, more relevant keywords you will get better response and in case if you see that if your response is not satisfactory and uh, the answer content is not good so you can ask it to replace the uh, information uh, you can also review the content uh, to check whether it is giving the accurate information or not so that has to be done manually and applications of uh, chat gpt are it plays a very important role in industry as, as well as in day-to-day uh, -day life of uh, a person uh, it can act like an assistant and uh, it can provide necessary help to the user to generate content for uh, uh, emailing or generating essays even it helps programmers for code writing and debugging uh, you can use this for specialist application for a financial application to advise the users 
and uh, for fraud detection as well it can be used to detect the fraud uh, fraudulent content uh, whether the content is reliable or not it can it can explain the concepts uh, it can also be used to used to plan your diets and uh, for medical field maybe that chatgpt can be integrated to generate automated summaries of uh, patient interaction and also it can generate uh, historical information to help the doctor and to assist uh, the physicians so thank you guys